Um, what are we looking forward to in the Messianic days? Messianic days is, is the hope of all of humanity. All the wonderful things that we always pray for when, you're, when you do a lachaim, you do a toast and you say, let's do a toast to fill in the blank, world peace, uh, eradicating hunger, uh, etc. Um, that's what we're basically going to happen in the end of days. So I'll just read you a little excerpt from um, Yeshayahu. He says, in the end of days, nations shall not lift the sword against nation. They shall not learn war anymore. Um, the land shall be full of knowledge. Um, a wolf shall live with the lamb. So that may happen too. But uh, the idea is that in the future, things are going to be great. There will be no, no hunger. There will be no war. There will be no fighting. What will people be doing? They will be learning. They will be connecting to God spiritually. Everything will be taken care of. Now, the question is, how do we get there? I Meaning we're kind of far from there right now. That's the ideal. That's, that's considered the, latest, the later stages of the Messianic period. But there are two stages before that. The stage that we're in right now is pre-Messianic days, or some people want to call it like the prelude to the Messianic days. It depends how Zionistic and Messianic you are. But at this point, our, what, what marks our period is that we are, Am Yisrael is not an independent entity in the political realm. I'm, I'm basing this all on the Rambam. Maimonides says, what's going to distinguish between this world and the times of the Mashiach? That Am Yisrael will have much more clout, much more power, and we will be like a top agent in the political spectrum. But Am Yisrael will not be, sub, he calls it subjugated to the other nations. Maimonides says, though, that the, this world's not going to be so different than the next world. Meaning this world, pre-Messianic days, not going to be considered in the Messianic days. And he says, things are going to go on their natural uh, path. So let's say Messianic days arrive. Uh, but things won't be so different. So people usually envision it like there's going to be people flying, flying through, the, through the sky. I don't know. There's going to be all the kinds of magical things. Basically, it, it might be the same. You have internet. You have Fox News, CNN. You have all these things. People will still be, you'll be going to the store, to the mall. You'll be going to Amazon. You'll be buying on Amazon. Things might be much cheaper than, I don't know. But, um, but things will be kind of di- the same, natural. They'll go according to natural order. But um, Amishra will be on a different level. And that will be like the beginning of the Messianic period. Now, how do we establish um, that we're definitely, the Messiah has come and who the Messiah is? So in that period, when that happens, Messiah has to do a few things in order, in order for us to know that it's Messiah. So Maimonides goes into this and he says like this. Um, okay, he goes, the Messianic king will arise in the future. And the first thing he has to do is restore the Davidic kingdom. Now the, in, to its former state, uh, he will build the sanctuary gather dispersed of Israel, and reinstitute all the laws. So as long as that hasn't happened, the Mashiach hasn't come yet. So you can have can- good candidates for Mashiach. Um, in the time of Rabbi Akiva, there was Bar Kokhva. He was a good candidate for being Mashiach. He, uh, he was a, a knowledgeable person. He was a scholar. He was a warrior. Meaning Mashiach also is important. Mashiach isn't going to just be somebody, just going to be like an overweight uh, rabbi. He's going to be a, an army general, maybe. He'll be fighting the wars. And uh, he'll be, and so Bar Kokhba was fighting the wars of Israel. He was, he was holy, he was spiritual. And Rabbi Akiva thought, this could be Mashiach. So Rabbi Akiva followed him and carried all of his, uh, all of his, uh, all of his war paraphernalia. He thought it could be Mashiach. But he wasn't convinced that it was for sure Mashiach. How do you get convinced it's, when these things come true? If these things don't come true, it's not Mashiach. And that's what the Rambam, Rambam has a strong critique. And this is censored out of a lot of editions of the Rambam. But he has a strong critique of Jesus based on this, and Christianity. So I have the non-censored version, so I'll just read a bit of it to you. Um, it's actually found on the Chabad website. I'm not that much of a... Okay, I didn't, I didn't do that much research. But it says, um, he, if he did not seek to this degree and was killed, or was killed, he surely is not the Redeemer, premise, uh, promised by the Torah. Right? He should be considered as all other proper and complete kings of the Davidic dynasty who died. And he goes... Jesus is a Nazareth who aspired to be the Mashiach and was, was executed by the court and was alluded to in Daniel's prophecies, um, etc. He says that he wasn't the Mashiach. So because he didn't do, the, do those things. So the, what's important is there's, there's a first stage of the mess, Messianic period, and that's when he's going to get all the things together, Mashiach. But there's a later stage where after Mashiach, according to Maimonides, after he gets everything settled in, he builds the temple, um, the Jews are ingathered, then a time is going to come when there's going to be a lot of peace on earth. And that's what we talked about in the very beginning. My rabbis used to say that we shouldn't just wait for the Mashiach to come and save us. We have to do our part to bring the Mashiach. Because if it says that the Mashiach can come miraculously or come uh, through, through our merits or can come uh, like slowly and, and not through our merits. So, 
So that's, we, we, we have a, a large part to play in this and in creating this reality. So there's, just like we hope that all these things, uh, hunger will be eradicated, uh, there will be cures to diseases, we can actually do our part in, in bringing, bringing this to these stages by being good people, by seeking out cures to diseases, by um, working on helping the poor and, and, and the destitute, and, and predominantly by growing in Torah and bringing people closer to Torah and people closer to Judaism. And through that, we hopefully bring closer to the Mashiach and Bezrat Hashem will merit to see that, all of us.